Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we are going to hook up the Dolphin Bar for the Wii remotes to a Raspberry Pi 4. This configuration will allow you to play all kinds of classic arcade games that required a light gun. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the same. Let's get started. In my prior video on the Vilros Raspberry Pi 4 Retro Gaming Kit, I showed you how to set it up. We applied the heat sinks, set up the case, and even got to the point where we set up the software. So if you're not familiar with how to do this, I highly recommend you checking it out and also installing Supreme Pro Retro Pi. Next you'll want to go to wagnerstechtalk.com and then go to the menu heading Tutorials, Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 4 Gaming. And on this page, you'll find all kinds of information on Raspberry Pi 4 Gaming, but in particular, the light gun support setup with the Mayflash Dolphin Bar and Wii Remote. You can scroll down through here and it'll give you all kinds of information on the hardware setup, as well as the game install, software setup, pretty much everything that you're going to see in this video. Next, you're going to want to copy your games. So you'll type slash slash RetroPi on your PC, and that'll go to your Raspberry Pi. In my case, I called it Vilro, so I'm going to go there. And then we'll go to the ROM share. So we'll just double click on ROMs, and then scroll down until we see the main libretro. So we'll double click there. And this is where you want to put your games into a folder called Gun Games or you could call it something different, but that's what I used. Here is where you want to copy and paste all your light gun games, only your light gun games. After you've copied your games, then you want to press start on your controller and then move down to quit. Then we go to restart emulation station and press A and A again, and emulation station will restart. Once restarted, scroll down to your main and then press A and you will see a group here of gun games. These are the games that we're going to be playing in this tutorial, at least a few of them. Okay, so let's set up the light gun hardware. For this I'm going to use the Wii Remote Plus and a Dolphin Bar. This is the Wiimote to PC USB or of course to our Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. And it wouldn't be complete without the gun. So we've got that too. Next we're going to install the batteries. And this is the Dolphin Bar itself. There's a sync button on the top and a mode button. On the back side you have a switch for selecting whether you want the sensor bar on the top or below the TV. Next we'll go ahead and plug in the USB port into the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. So just find an empty USB port and we'll just plug it in right here. Now we're just about ready to sync up the remote but first I want to mention you want to make sure the mode is set for 2 so in this case you can just toggle and then we will remove the cover again to the Wii Remote. I'll press the sync button. You see the Wii is ready for syncing. And press the button on the sensor bar. And now the two are paired together. Great! Now we'll put the cover back on the Wii Remote. And we'll place the sensor bar on top of the TV. We are just about done. Just a few more steps. Next we'll grab our gamepad and we'll hit the start button and then we'll move down to configure input and press A. And are you sure? We'll press A. And now we are going to pair 
the remote. So I'm going to hold down the home button, then I'm going to press it up, down, left, right. And for the start button, I'm going to press the two button. And for the select, I'm going to press the one button. For the A button, I'm going to use the home button. So I'm just going to press that. And we don't have any other buttons to program here, so I'm just going to hold down the home button for the rest of these until we get to the hotkey enable button. So we'll just keep going down and press the one button for the hotkey enable and the home button to click OK. Now we'll take our second controller and just press B. Remember, we don't have a back button or B button on the Wiimote. So now we'll go down to main and we will go to our gun games, press A. And now we will go ahead and scroll down to Terminator Judgment Day. We'll start off with that one. And we'll grab the keyboard, press tab to go into the main configuration. We're going to use the arrow keys and the enter key for this. So we'll select input this game and we'll move down to the coin one and we want the remote to be able to support coin. So we'll hit the minus button and that will map the coin button and we'll do the same for one player start. So we'll hit the plus sign there and now we will hit tab on the keyboard and we have mapped our buttons. You'll want to repeat that for all of the games that you want to play with the Wiimote. And now we are just about ready to play. You can insert quarters and you can start the game. Let's check it out. Alright, so let's check out some of the gameplay. We're going to start out with Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I used to love playing this game in the arcades. I was never very good, I'm still not. <laughs> But it's fun. All right, we'll switch gears. We'll go to maximum force. This was a pretty tough game. You have to reload occasionally, so what I've typically done is uh, shoot in the lower left or the lower right, and it seems to pick up pretty good that way. Not in all cases, though. It's kind of sporadic. All right, now we'll move on to Area 51. From Now let's move on to another game. 
Alien 3, The Gun, from 1993. This is a fun game. I really enjoy this one. I like that you can hold the fire button down and it just continuously shoots. This game can actually make use of two fire buttons, one for shooting grenades, I believe, but unfortunately the gun that I have only has one button. Now we'll check out Jurassic Park from 1994. I will leave a link below to the tutorial, so if you want to check that out, please click that link, and it'll have the latest and greatest information there. Oh, wow. Check out this dinosaur. <laughs> Got a T-Rex chasing me. I'm seeing some artifacts in the display there. I don't know if you're picking up on that as well. I don't know what that's all about. Seems to only be in this game, from what I can tell. This looks pretty cool. Landon. Say hi to the folks, Land. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to let Landon play this game. I've been playing it for a little while. I think it's better for someone who has never played it before. Give it a try. Shoot that thing on the bottom left there. That'll give you fire. Give me your honest thoughts. What do you think of it? It's fun, but the aim is a little off, so it's harder to shoot. On just that one game or all of them? Uh, most of them. Most of them? Okay. So is it something that you would play, honestly? Yeah. Yeah, you would play? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, thanks, buddy. I no appreciate problem. it. He's exactly right. There are some improvements that can be made. If you go into the analog controls, you can adjust the sensitivity and the speed. All of these settings can be tweaked to your personal preferences and this is something that I have not spent a whole lot of time on. I typically just left things as they were, you know, in the default settings. If you like light gun games, you're going to love this. It's a lot of fun. I personally enjoyed it quite a bit and I'll probably be building a cabinet that includes this particular setup in the near future. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.